What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to look at the what I consider is the best gaming accessories for an iPhone 15 Pro experience. This happens to be the Pro Max, uh, but this will work with the Pro also, so don't worry um, if you don't have the Pro Max. This should all play out, okay? So what I was looking for is the best setup to do gaming on my iPhone. And I think with these accessories, I've pretty much nailed it. Now, unfortunately, I can't use some of these when I'm using probably the star of the show, and that's this Backbone um, gaming controller, basically. And I gotta say, I've looked at a bunch of different gaming controllers. This one wins. All right, so if you came to this video to get one thing, this is probably the best gaming controller available for mobile devices, for phones, okay? Um, it just works, and it works great, and they actually just got an update right at the time I'm doing this video that you don't even, you can basically use this as a controller and plug it in and, and game off your iPad. You don't have to, like, have your phone in the middle of the controllers. Um, now you can actually just game with this as a controller, nothing in the middle, and uh, basically communicate you know, through uh, Bluetooth or whatever to your iPad and game that way. So they've actually just released that. I don't have a lot of information on it, but I might do a follow-up video since they did just release that at the time I'm filming this. So keep that in mind. This just got better than what I already said it was. Also, um, in this mix, we've got a Binks case. This is the uh, cooling case, or basically, um, you know, it, it's got great uh Basically, like, um, flow here, the airflow, everything works really, really good. Now, if you go out to Backbone's uh, compatibility guide, basically, right? They've tested a lot of cases. This case is not on there. So that was why it was imperative for me to say, Hey, Binks, um, can you send me this case? I'll put it through the ropes, and we'll see if it works with the Backbone 1, uh, or Backbone uh, controller. And um, I can vouch it does, all right? And I don't have any adapters installed. This is just case into the backbone, and uh, it works, all right? So you can put this case on your list. It is probably the best gaming case available as it allows the airflow and the cooling to really take effect. And when you're playing some high-end games on your iPhone 15 Pro, um, that's a very important thing, right? And you can see here, there's not a lot of, uh, on the backbone, there's not a lot here to basically re reduce your airflow. So it's a nice feature of the backbone to keep this very, very minimal back here uh, to allow airflow. So that is a bonus. Now, this, unfortunately, I cannot use this while I have it in the backbone, but uh, this does make an honorable mention. This is also a Binks product. This gets cold and it blows air. All right, so this is a cooling MagSafe device. You have to power it. Um, it has RGB lights, and then once you power this and plug it in, uh, it's going to cool down your iPhone even more. So unfortunately, though, this can't be used. You can't use MagSafe stuff when you got it in the backbone. Um, but maybe, back backbone, future enhancement. Leave some space for MagSafe. So not only can you charge via MagSafe, maybe, but you can cool as well with MagSafe devices like this. Future enhancement, just saying. So, other pieces. This is it. Uh, these are great gaming headphones. Okay, this is Gravistar's um, headset. And uh, for me, I really like them. As you can see, the, one, the case is just kick butt. But um, Bluetooth, they're wireless. They fit in the ears very, very well. They have great sound. And, um, yeah, I highly recommend these. I think these get the nod for the best gaming earbuds available. So if you want a nice quality sound while you're gaming, not bothering anyone else, use these. They also come with some pretty cool cases. Um, I'll show you a couple of them. So I've got this case, which is kind of an ice case. So that's kind of neat. Uh, and then also another case that they have here. So, you know, pending your mood, whatever. Uh, this one almost kind of looks Lego-ish, or spacey. I don't know. 
Um, but kind of kind of unique cases for these. So I'll have a link in the show notes for these guys as well. Um, so you can check out those. But uh, I think it's called the Sirius P5 or something like that uh, headset. So um, getting there by Gravistar. Amazing addition to a gaming experience. Now, another thing is, mentioned, I, you can't do MagSafe charging. So I have this Momax, uh, very, very thin, very, very neat looking uh, MagSafe charger. But, so what I found in my testing, I'm going to do a video on this guy too. They're boasting 5,000 milliamps and they also boast that it has 19 watt hours, 15 watt max wireless charging. I have not got this to produce even close to 15 watt uh, wireless. But down here, we do have a USB-C uh, output. And this will output exactly as it says um, wired, 19 watt hours wired. Okay, And it actually, it, it charges really well. And for its footprint, um, I like it. It's very, very light. Well, it's not the super lightest, but it's very, very thin. And, uh, you know, it just works. Then also, in the mix somewhere, if you didn't have some of the other stuff going on, uh, this little portable fan, again, it, not only can it cool your hands, and this one's at an angle and it's USB-C, and then the blade comes off. So if you wanted to use something like this, uh, in your setup somehow, um, it'd be nice not only keep you cool maybe, but then your hands not sweating. It just depends on what game you're playing and how how bad you need it. But um, I definitely like the idea of having some kind of little fan to um, blow some air not only on you but on your hands and, and keep that down and keep your maybe your device uh, from heating up too. So maybe you don't want to use this case, so you can use the fan and the USB C or whatever and and. There you go. So you don't don't have to use a controller. All of these are optional separately, but together as well. Again, they don't all work together, but again, these are kind of my best accessories for gaming on the iPhone 15. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and launch again. Let's just do Diablo. Maybe. Maybe. It's updating. There we go. It's updating very quickly. So we'll get that going. And then what's nice about this backbone is I can plug in right here. I am now charging my phone from this little Momax device. I could get a longer cable if I wanted to. This is just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to tap to play. Loading the game. And there we go. We're basically rocking this game with the backbone controller. How cool is that? The undead. What fate has befallen Wortham? There you go. How cool is that? Yeah. Alright. We'll, we'll cut the gaming and come back quickly to this controller. Uh, I wanted to point out. So now I'm charging through the controller. That's an awesome feature as well. You can charge while you actually play your game. Let's just talk one thing about the Backbone 1. Um, I and, and for the record, uh, I did buy this with my own money. Uh, this isn't like anything sponsored or anything like that. So, there's a USB-C uh, and they do have a lightning still available for this backbone controller. Um, I have the new 15 Pro Max, so we're using the USB-C version, but it also works with Samsung devices as well. You do have adapters. It also comes with this beautiful case. So, uh, one thing that I like about this is I didn't have to pay extra for this case. This case is made from recycled material and uh, really gets the job done. You also get some adapters, so again, you can put these in just pending your phone or your case, right? So this is supposed to be designed, one of the f big flaws of the previous version of this was um, people had to take their cases off to use it, and now they've thrown in some adapters, they're magnetic, they go right in here, 
Uh, and so you can use these different adapters to get the perfect fit for your case. I think that's awesome and you don't pay extra for them. It's also compact, um, so it makes that very, very portable. So just collapse it. Once you take the phone out and store it, you're good. It has very low latency. So it plugs directly into your phone. There's a port. Your USB-C goes in there. It powers it. So it is drawing a little extra power from your phone as you're using the controller. Uh, but that's pretty awesome. You can also capture game clips and screenshots with a hotkey. So if you want to go back, you can actually just you know hit it and it'll actually record the screen. If you don't want to use wireless headphones, you, there's a headphone jack down here, 3.5 millimeter jack. You can actually use that with wired headphones if you so desire and not have any kind of latency, even though if you're using Bluetooth 5, I think you're fine. So, uh, USB-C port again to pass through charging while gaming. And um, it has minimal battery draw, even though it is drawing from your phone. They have an app, which is pretty kick butt. It'll allow, allow you to not only see the games that are compatible with it and have been tested and work well, but also gives you some abilities to do customization to your controllers and stuff like that. So I highly recommend the app. And uh, specs, it is 3.7 inches height, 6.94 inches width, depth is 1.28, and the weight is about 4.87 ounces. So it's very, very light. You also can play streaming services with this device, right? It works with Xbox Game Pass. It works with PCs, uh, Steam Link, and uh, PlayStation Remote, Google Play, and Apple Arcade. All of those work with this device. That is phenomenal. And I think that is all I've got to say about the backbone and all these devices. I do want to give you a really quick view. That's what it looks like without. Again, it just collapses down into this case. I have my phone in this, <clears throat> again, Binks case. If you're wondering about the Momax battery, this is the box it came in. It's their QMag X, 8.3 millimeters, ultra slim. When we're done, I'm just going to take those out. We're going to unplug our device. We're going to put it in here. Throw in our adapters. Close it up. We're ready to rock and roll. Look at that. Backbone. This is what I feel are the best gaming accessories you can get for your iPhone gaming setup. There you go. I think that is a pretty good lineup for gaming accessories. They're going to give you basically everything you need to make your iPhone a great gaming experience. No need to throw in your Nintendo Switch, your Steam Deck, none of that. When you've got your iPhone, you carry it with you all the time, throw these extra things in your bag, and you can rock this. I did want to point out, if I'm not using this, this is where this bad boy comes in. Boom. It is very, very magnetic. It's going to work. I'll plug it in. If you happen to see the video where I did the binks, um, Case review. Look at that. Got some RGB lighting on the go to run with you. And again, we'll just turn this on. We're charging. We got a fan going. And this is cooling the case and the phone. So maybe I don't want to use the controller. Or now, maybe I want to use. My backbone and not have the phone inserted into it and I can use this cool the phone and game remotely okay I haven't gone into that yet maybe I'm gonna do a follow-up on that but that's supposedly how the new features of the backbone works you don't have to have it in here and I'm charging this device and cooling it at the same time with this bad boy so how cool is that pretty darn cool all right anyway Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have a link in the show notes for all the good you see in this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.